Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Alpha Ambassador, and in this series of short video tutorials, we're going to deep dive into Sony's new menus that we see on cameras such as the A7 IV and the Alpha One. So without much further ado, let's get started. Let's take a look at the display settings on the late model Sony Alpha cameras. We're going to press the menu button and then come to the yellow setup menu, page six, finder monitor. You can then choose whether to select the finder or monitor manually or have the camera switch from the monitor automatically to the finder when you raise your eye to the viewfinder. We will also be able to um, change the monitor brightness. If you're out there in very bright uh, ambient light conditions, you probably want to go into that monitor brightness and then go into the manual setup and then either choose manual or sunny weather. Sunny weather will be the brightest setting for the monitor. If however you just need it to be a little bit brighter, we can then go into the manual and then raise it from uh, 0 to plus 2 setting. Okay, once we've um, uh, done that, we can then go over to the viewfinder brightness. We need to put the camera to our eye to set up the monitor, or sorry, the viewfinder brightness there, but you'll go through the same process. We'll then go come down to display quality. Now it's set to standard by default, but um, we can get a higher resolution image by changing the display quality from standard to high. Now once we've done that, um, we will also be able to look at find a frame rate. Now find a frame rate, it's um, great to increase the frame rate when we're doing fast action sports photography, but that will lower the display quality back to the standard setting. So we can't have both high viewfinder quality and also high frame rate. It's one or the other. So we'll come into the FN menu settings. I'm now in the yellow setup menu, page three, FN menu settings. Because I want to be able to access um, that um, setting very, very quickly. So let's go into that FN menu settings and we'll uh, select find a frame rate as one of our 12 options there. So that's find a frame rate. So we can quickly move from the standard to the high frame rate when we're shooting action sports. So there we have, it's on page 21 of 23 pages of options, so that's just helping you find that finder frame rate if you also want to assign that to the FN menu. Once you've done that, you can then um, set the finder frame rate from the FN menu. Just press the FN button and then um, navigate to uh, the uh, finder frame rate and then use the uh, uh, front dial to change from standard to high frame rate. So again, just press that FN button and then move to the high frame rate. Okay, so once we've done that, if you just want to go back over to the menu, you can see that um, once we've selected that high fr frame rate via the FN menu, that will appear in the main menus as well. If we set the uh, f finder frame rate back to standard, because now we want to shoot uh, static landscape or maybe portraits, you'll see that uh, when we go back into the main menus, the finder frame rate has been dropped to standard and the display quality will automatically uh, be set to high. So that's important that we set the display quality um, to high first and then assign finder frame rate to the FN menu. So we won't need to be, be changing both of those settings will just be changing the finder frame rate and the display quality will toggle between standard and high all by itself. If you found this information useful, head over to patreon.com forward slash Mark Gaylor. I'm offering an alpha creative skills support channel where you can download a 500 page camera specific ebook and I've covered most of the late model alpha cameras. You'll also be able to download a cam set file if you own one of the later model alphas. You'll be able to set up your entire camera with just a single file copied to a memory card. I also offer additional uh, ebooks for people to download to help them master the uh, skills of creative photography and also a range of uh, one hour seminars that look at the uh, using the, uh, the camera gear to the best effect and also to build up your skills of photography in general. So head over to patreon.com forward slash Mark Gaylor.